Walt and Nelson's birthday party, 2012. Dad Elk. There's Walter with his elk horn. His birthday is today. I thought maybe this would work. I don't know. I don't think there's enough heat there to cook the corn. There we go. Okay. Get him out of the box. He's the last one to come outdoors and get him. Put the fire out on the corn. Blacker, better. Bum 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 so there's Doug, there's David. Say Rambo. Dinner. I had corn already. Which of the two of you idiots? But it's not true. He's dangling. He's dangling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you know, there's medication for that. Seven candles for seven candles. Seven candles for seven candles. That's a happy word. So now we can sing. Right? Now. Right. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. It's not his, it's Walter's 60th birthday. Oh. 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 I got a little bit of a little bit of a little I went there on the 31st, and it's like I feel younger than I did on the 30th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I thought I'd just tell a story that Walter will, of course, say is a complete lie. But uh, the way, the story about how I met Walter. Oh, Back in 19, the winter of 1986-87, I had been living in New York City and I moved out to Santa Fe, New Mexico. And you know, when you live in New York, you're really wary of crazy people. There are a lot of crazy people in New York. So I moved out to Santa Fe and I rented this little house. And one dark, cold winter morning, I was struggling up the mud, muddy lane to my mailbox and heard this voice. No air! I was looking around and said, what, what, here's this, this psycho in the house next door. I mean, he's got his cowboy hat, he's got this cowboy boots with the duct tape around it, and he's, he's coming right at me. Hello, my name is Walter Nelson. <laughs> I was like backing off, oh my god, I'm line one one. This is <laughs> no, that's it. That, so that's how I met Walter. And, uh, <laughs> have you done line one one yet? I tell you one thing, I, but one of the things I've learned in all these years and doing all these wonderful, unbelievable, fantastic uh, journeys, the trips, you know, out into the great beyonds where you never go before with Doug uh, Preston, <laughs> is like. Uh, <laughs> Speechless. Okay, you are there. Basically, basically, you have to believe his lies because he's such a good storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you 
Thank you. That, that is my But business. the great thing to tell you is a gullible kind of guy because here, two cowboys can stand naked at 5 o'clock in the morning overlooking a little bitty body of water in a desert, you know, and holding hand, and on three, you know, it's kind of like reliving Brokeback Mountain again, but on three, <laughs> I don't. He sinks up the mud. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear about it. He wants to hear about Brokeback Mountain with Walter and that mayor. No, no, no. Not me. Not here. Not here. We, we rode a thousand miles. And whenever we got into a tricky situation, which happened a lot, I mean, we were trespassing, we were laying down fences as we went. We were trespassing over Indian land. I mean, we were, you know, very sketchy looking individuals. And every time, and we were going across Mormon ranches and all kinds of, you know, every time we got into trouble, I saved your life. Time. Stand back. Let me handle this thing. Here you go. Hello, my name is. <laughs> <laughs> he has no fear now. <laughs> well, you were together making, I mean. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank everybody and all of you for coming and being here. I'll be very sure. We don't, I do want to make a wish. Uh, I think I'll make it to everybody here in this room. And it's going to be a verbal wish. You know, may all the happiness and joy and peace, serenity and love be in everyone's heart for well, 365 less 12 up until I become 70. <laughs>